Adam. Yes? It's been a while since we talked about wrestling. Oh, it's been too long. It's been a while since I kind of watched wrestling. Is I, it? It's got, it's, it's, well, it's been bad, and then it was good, but then it was bad again. That's just the cycle, know. because, you know, they, they do this thing of like 52 weeks a year, and I think it's too much. Yeah, well, I, I actively did not watch, intentionally avoided Extreme Rules, because I was just so burnt out. I was just like, this is, you, I was so on it with WrestleMania. I was like, yes, I'm in. We're, we're back, baby. Then the first half of the following Raw, we're like, yeah! Yeah, and then, and then the second half of the... Everyone go, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. And it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Like I, You, you think about the state... It's like a time cast capsule, our podcast is. You go back and listen to it, and we're just so excited, and Damian Sandow was hot, and Daniel Bryan was a thing, and you know we had all these... Seth Rollins was doing really good work. He still is, for the most part. And, uh, which is what happened. It feels like a, a, a millennium ago, well, but it was just so fast. I will say that um, the Raw in Montreal last week... That was, was really good. It was act. Yes. Yes. It it makes me sad because there are clearly people there that know what they're doing. Either that, or they just get lucky every once in a while. Mm, I think the crowd helped, and they just had the right pieces in place. They clearly, I saw it just it just that 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 worked, and it's so hard to have all those moving parts fit in just right every week yeah but you know the writing made sense even for, without the crowd the crowd was good i agree but even just the stuff made sense yeah i i, I kind of like actually what they're doing with kane he's I don't. kind of evolving into an, an, a, an interesting character even though he's not a demon anymore i don't because of one reason what's the end goal he wrestles in slacks he has a rest That's... he has a match that's that's hey, the he, end. He, re- he wrestles like, in slacks. That that big that, dead. That's mm, enough. I don't want to see that. You don't want to see Kane wrestle in slacks. I don't want to see Kane wrestle at all. <laughs> it, it, I don't understand why. Because he all that's going to happen is like oh he has a match eventually and he loses. Like it's never. I'd rather be two guys like when it was Ambrose and Rollins and two guys just going at each other and they're the ones butting heads all the time. Not you're being forced into a match with him because I'm angry with you and I'm the real villain. It just it takes heat away from the guy who should be getting it. But you have to admit, Kane's at least becoming interesting. But what's the As end a character. goal? He has a match well, and he mean, loses. Well, that's the thing. What they're doing with Kane would be perfect on for an anybody. Somebody who could for actually a, yeah. wrestle. But Kane, I, I, I mean, Kane can wrestle. It's just he's old and you don't need him anymore. As bad as it is, as much as I like Kane. No, he's good to have around, but he shouldn't be have such a prominent role every single week. He be, kind of became the the new authority figure there for yeah, a while. Yeah, I think Triple Christ. H and Stephanie were not there. Blue in the face. The two of those came back this past draw. I was like, oh, go away. <laughs> You're just so, like, every... Is Triple H a face or a heel? He's whatever he wants to be. Yeah. Is that, is that ever... He comes out and he's like booed a little bit, but then he's like mouthing off to Seth Rollins and telling him behave. Like, dude, be evil or nice. He just switches on a dime. That kind of bugged me anyway because it it undermines the talent. It's not, oh, you're, you're the chosen one because you have the most potential and that's why I chose you to be under my wing and I'm going yeah, to mold you like, into what you can be. No, you're my child and you do what I say. That it just undermines Seth Rollins as champion as as opposed to pushing him where he should be. Yeah, I just thought it was so much better when the authority weren't around and every show didn't start with them and every it's not like they're in like four segments every single night. That's another thing. What made the opening to Montreal Raw special? I'll tell I'll tell you in two words. What? I'll tell you in a clap then. New day. <laughs> <laughs> who was it? It was Rollins up on. No, who was up? Who was in the middle of the ring? It was Rollins or was it? It was. Ambrose? It was. 
It was Am- it was Orton and Reigns in the ring. It was Orton and Reigns, and then the new yeah. Day so came. just like every Raw ever, so you're thinking, oh, here comes twenty minutes of Orton not but saying anything. But it wasn't twenty and... minutes. It was like four, five. That's what I'm saying. Is that but they came out and you're thinking, oh, well, now we got twenty minutes of Randy Orton saying, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and I did that and I'm smart and blah blah blah. And then the new day Roman Reigns coming out and saying, yeah, in the mouth. And then New Day, but then New Day interrupts it, and you're like, thank God. And then they're so good. They are so good. And here's a here's a beautiful thing. The match they had, they won. They won the match! That's another thing, is that these guys are the tag team champions, and they're against two singles guys who have never wrestled together before, That so they don't have any chemistry. They hate each other. Yeah. And there's three against two. Yeah. So, but in most scenarios, that's the thing. It's Randy so surprising. Orton beat... Tyson Kidd and Cesaro by himself. Yeah, it's it's so obvious that the three men should win, but we've been conditioned to believe that if you're the singles guy, you're going to freaking win. That always but since nuts. but but that's the thing is that you know that they knew what they were doing that day because yeah. it made logical sense. So yeah, why would the tag team champions who have experience working as a team lose against these two Egypts? Exactly, and they and they looked good when they won, and yeah. I didn't think Orton and Reigns looked yeah, bad when they lost. Thinks, oh well, they're crap now because they no, it's just no. Of they, lost they lost because they were yeah. They had the they they lost to the heels that had the advantage. Of course, they freaking lost. Yeah, a while ago, um, I remember there was a match. It was like a storyline. The Vince McMahon hated The Rock, and he put him in a handicap match against the Dudley Boys. Do you know what happened? He got his ass lost. kicked. Yeah. Demolished. <laughs> yeah, I rem- I remember the same thing. It was actually with The Rock. I don't remember. I think it was McMahon Helmsley, and it was uh, who who was it? it? Was The Rock and three guys? I think it was like Big Show, Undertaker, and Kane yeah, against just, The Rock. Should get destroyed. And he and he, I think he actually won because Mankind returned or something like that. But you're right. But when it's a for handicap the- match, that's a great opportunity to get sympathy for your babyface. Get his ass kicked, and be like, of course he was outnumbered. Should he? Should yeah. He fought hard, but he of course he got beat. He was outnumbered. Yeah, it's not like two singles guys teaming up together and then d- demolishing your tag division in a gauntlet like yeah. it usually happens. It's, oh God, who was it? Daniel Bryan and Roman Daniel Reigns. Bryan and Roman Reigns not too long ago that was did the exact same stupid. freaking thing. And then there was Randy Orton and John Cena who destroyed the entire roster. Oh my God, it's like you just buried everybody. Everyone, <laughs> not even the tag division. No one was safe. God, oh just man! Like, it never, I never. Was but holy to. crap, is New Day the best thing that they have going? When I love them the, so we're much. In the, when they're in the back and they keep celebrating, they're still celebrating like an hour and a half after they won the match. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> like the two of them lift, struggling to lift Big E. Like, we, we, we told you we'd do it, Kane. We did it. <laughs> and then even even last week when uh, Big E was wrestling, who was it, Cesaro? Cesaro. Yeah, it was Cesaro. And Xavier Woods runs over to Booker T and he's like, I tell him at home, Book. Tell him, tell him, Big E's strong. <laughs> Kofi's agile. Tell him at home. <laughs> so good. Xavier Woods is just hilarious. They're, when they, they were at yeah. Extreme Rules and they had the match and they were like, uh, and, and he's like clapping and the crowd are going against them. And he's not even in the match. He's running around the side of the ring post. He's like, why are you booing us? We're winning. <laughs> yeah, we're winning. <laughs> I watched that. I actually did watch that match. It was a good match. That was the best <laughs> match on the entire card. It, it, by far. There was 10 well, minutes of pure action. And what tag matches should be. You got two guys, yeah. so no one should get tired. Yeah, and then there's Cesaro and Kid, who apparently are really good at wrestling as a face. Yeah. They, they get the crowd going. They do really good comebacks. They, they wrestle... Like, I think Tyson as baby Kidd, face is just fine. I think Tyson Kidd is one of the most fluid wrestlers I've ever seen. He is so clean. These are clean never is the an, way I... an inch wrong. Everything is perfect. And Cesaro is just dis- disgustingly strong, like yeah, embarrassingly just, strong. See his fucking belly to belly with Biggie when Biggie. Just... Yeah, he's just like, no, you're going over. I don't care. <laughs> you can fight me all you want. <laughs> you just mistime it, and he's like, all right, forget it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, I got I'll just this. Do this as a dead weight. God damn good look that like Biggie tucked his head at the last second. Yeah, I yeah. Or, or death. Paralysis. I was th- I was just thinking I actually asked the question while I was watching that match. 
who do you think who do you think is stronger, Big E or Cesaro? And I was talking to my friend, and he said, "Well, what do, what do you think? In the ring, probably Cesaro. I guess he's more." But I'm, but I mean, just pure lifting strength. Who do you think is oh, stronger? Biggie. And then the second I said that, Cesaro just lifts Big E up like it was nothing, and just pulls him over into that belly to belly. Is it, like, if it's oh. something like if it's like a bench press where it's just yes. a couple of muscles, yes. But if it's something that requires your whole body, then it's Cesaro. Yeah, like he's I mean, got Cesaro, that functional strength. I, not to put anything down about Big E, I like him. You mean the man who benches really 700 pounds? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a strong him. man. But Cesaro, for what he is, is just... So, I don't know why it's more impressive with Cesaro. Because he's, he's he's smaller. He's smaller, and he just just does it in a way that looks like it impossible. I don't know. You, you, can, you see Big E lift people, and it doesn't... I don't know. I can't really it's explain size. it. Like Biggie is thick. Cesaro, not so much. But Cesaro doesn't even have any trouble either. I was about to say that, well, Biggie doesn't have trouble lifting people, and that's why it's not impressive. But Cesaro doesn't either. He just deadlifts people. Maybe that's what it is, is that no one helps Cesaro <laughs> jump up. He just lifts him up. I don't think he tells anyone what move he's going to do. He's like, no, no, I got it. Don't <laughs> worry. Tilt to world slam. Just, I got, I'll handle it. Tuck your head, kid. We'll get through this. <laughs> Well, they're in the back. You probably like like. What are we doing tonight, Cesaro? Tuck your head, kid. I got it. And he just walks out. He's like throwing people around. And they was like, I just tuck my head, and it went it happened. Yeah. So since we're talking about them anyway, do you want to do our payback predictions? And yes. We'll start with this match. Payback predictions. So rematch between New Day and Ken two out of Cesaro. three falls. Two out of three falls, which That's, I normally hate, but they've but been good lately. This, you know, especially given someone like Cesaro and Kid, two out of three falls, they're gonna. Those are guys that can go for an yeah. hour each. And I, I and Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan in two out of three falls match is still one of my favorite matches mm-hmm. in quite some time. I really enjoyed it, so yeah. it can be done. And I, I like the on NXT Hideo Itami versus Tyler Breeze two out of three falls yep. was good too. So they they figured it out. I remember back in the day, though, two out of three falls match just meant one fall by one guy, one fall by the other guy, and then a normal match. Yeah, what was what was there recently? There was a two out of three falls just went two falls. Oh, oh yeah, that did happen. I don't remember. I was like, oh, but that that's never happened. I I love the way the the Sheamus Daniel Bryan match went though. Is that Daniel Bryan got himself intentionally DQ'd for the yeah. first fall to injure Sheamus more? Yeah, that, that was, was perfect. That was really smart. But yeah, so who do you think wrestles for the new day? Because they have the Freebird rules, um, which means in case for, people don't oh, know, they're gonna, oh, it's it's Kofi and Biggie. Yeah, which means it, well, just in case it, nobody knows the Freebird rules. It's based on the fabulous Freebirds when if when it's a stable of three, any two people, any two members of that stable can defend the title. So basically, all three members of the new day are the WWE Tag Team Champions. So it can be Woods and Kingston, it can be Woods and Big E, or it can be, it can be Big E and Woods, and it doesn't matter. The titles will still be on the line. Yep. Uh, yeah, they're, so, it's, they're going to go two or three falls. They're going to go with the two guys who are more experienced. I also just, think that Xavier Woods is more entertaining on the outside. Yeah, he really so, is. He's than, hilarious. Than the other two. That guy. <laughs> We're winning. <laughs> Why are you... Yeah, tell him at home, book. Tell him at home. <laughs> yeah, what the when uh, I I told you this a long time ago, but I remember one of the first times we ever talked about wrestling. You and I together was when the the Malcolm X Xavier Woods thing. God happened. damn, that was crazy. And we were thinking, good. and we were thinking there is so much potential here if they don't screw this up. And, and then it, they immediately ditched it and screwed it up, and they I'm, turned him into New Day, which is exactly what. Xavier Woods was saying that no, we don't want to be the stereotype happy dancing black people. We want we want to be champions. That's we want exactly to be exactly what them. Some right went oh happy dancing black. I love it. Okay, Vince, get him blue outfits. We're going with it. But then subtly, I don't know if they were it told was, to do this, but Xavier Woods from day one was. Interje- was sprinkling in a little bit of heel promos into his entrance. I don't know if you noticed that, but even when they debuted, Xavier Woods would come out. I was like, if you guys aren't positive, that's when the rage comes out, baby. It just, there was 
I don't think you that know, was now. It's time to smile. I it's time to smile. Think that was like. I don't know if it, it was, was intentional. too subtle to be ob- like that was definitely his thinking. He did yeah because but what really saved them was um was the night after WrestleMania when the crowd went new day and they added in socks. Yeah, that was it. That was the turning point. The crowd added in socks and every crowd started doing it and they ran with it and they yeah, started and- to embrace it and it became like why would you do that and then. It just give them mics, let them all show what they can do, and it's the, one of the best things on the show. And and now they're actually somewhat turning into what the what their potential was. It, it's more comical than it was going to be serious, but it it's kind of the same thing. It's they're 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 trying to do the stereotypical black thing, and they're angry that people aren't accepting it because that's what normally stereotypical black people in WWE do. Yeah. So what are you talking about, people? This is what you want. This is stereotypical. You we you want us to clap. You want us to smile. We're doing exactly what black people do in WWE, and you're booing us for it? What is wrong with you people? Yeah, and, there's, and um, it's working there's like, so freaking well. There's a future. There's so they got such a long time with this thing. They can then turn it again and be like, you see, or they can, they can just go forever with that thing. They can, they'll be still a new day a year from now, but they'll have another angle on it. Hopefully. I they, don't know. If the writers don't yeah. fuck it up and tell them, they go, just stop doing that thing, do this. They should I don't just know give who those I said guys this to. free reign. Yeah, I don't know who I said this to, but I said they should just keep doing what they're doing. They're basically faces that get booed right now. They just need to keep doing what they're doing, eventually sprinkle in the serious stuff, Say, what do you? You guys are turning your back on us, even though this is what you've accepted for years, and you know, and you know what? It's not working. We're not going to take it anymore. That's that turn needs to happen at some point. When yeah. when the new day stuff, I, it doesn't need to happen right now, and I don't want it to happen for a while. But that's what needs to happen. But would, it, they need to turn it into that Malcolm X thing. But would way down the line, would they highlight that aspect of WWE that they don't have many black people as champion? I think they should. Would that get bad publicity? I don't care. <laughs> as a as storytelling, it's perfect. Oh, as storytelling, yeah. But I think it might be too. But uh, then, what if one of them becomes champion? Uh, so then it's not bad publicity. That's why it's. And but they also they can also point to world heavyweight, even though it's the secondary belt. They could point to the world heavyweight title or whatever and say, "Oh, Booker T won it and five time." Five, you know, Booker T won that belt, and I'm pretty sure the Rock, the Rock's part black, he counts right. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Way. He, the Rock is basically not black. Nope. He doesn't. He doesn't look black. That match is going to be good. Yeah, who do you think wins? I think New Day I, has to win. No, I think Tyson Kidd. You think Tyson Kidd wins? I think Tyson Kidd wins because the New Day need opponents. If they, if Kidd and Cesaro aren't there, then. Who do they face? Nobody. Well, yeah, that's a good. Well, primetime players. Nah, them up. that's just. I don't think I... Vince would like five black people fighting. <laughs> <laughs> My God, you're right. He just. I, but then, or think about it from a storyline perspective, though. They say they could. Oh, the new day could come up and say, and like, like, "You're why, just like us. Why, you're just yeah. like us. Why don't you? Why are you fighting us? Do, join us. And you can be champions faction. too." Yeah, that won't happen. No, I'd, I'd see, I'd see Kid and Cesaro winning just to keep it going a little long because those two guys can have, those two teams can have great matches. Just keep it going. Also, but uh, going the other way with it, you don't even have to have them join up. You can have that be their motivation, and then have primetime players be like, "No, you're you're giving us a bad name. You're, yeah, it, it's it, it just works on so many levels. You can do it. You can do anything you want. I don't necessarily care about the primetime players, but that works. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I, so I think New Day. I think New Day has to retain. I think they'd be right. crazy if they didn't. I'm going with Let's kids talk. just because they can be more. They're heels. They can be even more angry that they lost. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but I mean, even if they. So you think Kid and Cesaro and New Day are going to keep feuding for a while? Yeah. So uh, I guess <laughs> we. I guess they need more teams. Lucha Dragons. Yeah, they'll try and build them up, but they're they haven't where'd been on they, TV. Where'd for they go? Weeks. Yeah, that's what. It, Sin Everyone's Car- so hyped for Callisto, and then Sin Cara probably botched something and broke his neck. It yeah, probably and it, see the thing. It's not even the same dude. That's just his character is botched <laughs> it, now. The mask is crushed. that's the character. <laughs> oh, what's your gimmick? Oh, yeah, I screw everything up. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get this rolling. Uh, what's right, next? Let's on the do cards? the pre. Let's just do go to the, back to the pre-show. 
Curtis Axel and Macho Mando. Skip. Versus the Ascension. I don't care. I'm nope. going to say Curtis Axel and Macho Mando, though. No. Poor Damien Sandow. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, remember when he was the hottest thing going? I'm pretty sure last time we recorded this podcast, he was just one of the yeah. he biggest was the faces. Yeah, and then he had this heartfelt speech, and then he became the guy who mimics everybody again. I was like, what the fuck? That's the stuff only, that bothers me. Yeah, but now mind. he's only mimicking one dude. It's just still, it's the same thing. Poorly. Him, it's not even a good... <laughs> let him be him. It's just stupid. I'm pretty sure Jay Lethal and TNA did the exact same gimmick for years, and he did it way better. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the black machismo, or whatever. All right, uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Sheamus. I didn't know this match actually existed. Uh, so I'm going to go either. Sheamus, um, I guess. Yeah, Seamus wins. Be- no, I don't know. Does it matter? No, I don't think it does. Dolph Ziggler is bugging me lately because he is dressed. He's dressing like this weird '80s metal or hair metal band with a denim jacket and eyeliner and a headband, and it looks so stupid. And I can't approve of that, so I hope he loses. It's it still boggles my mind why Ziggler never got. So they, they, I think it's just concussion at the wrong time, but he never really had time in the main event. He had one main event match at TLC with Cena, and the Which crowd match. were on fire. They loved Ziggler being in the yeah. main event, and they, just, they were there again. From a personal standpoint, I don't care about Dolph Ziggler that much. I like him. No, but I, mean, I just look at him and go, what do they want? They want like, a good-looking guy. Who's comfortable on camera? Gets it's like well, this guy should be your biggest baby face. He takes a punch like nobody. Yeah, but darn what I think. The crowd loves him, so that and that's what matters. So yeah, the crowd love him. He's got all the attributes, and he'd be a perfect like face of the company, especially for this new kind of wave of he's kind of guys. Small. The, the, well, he's, he's like six foot one, but the kind of like smaller in stature, not the big bodybuilder look. But I suppose Vince still loves the bloody. Seen a look. That is one of my favorite gifts of all time with Vince having an orgasm oh, yeah. to a bodybuilder flexing is really it's, funny. It's so true. Yeah. I was, right. I, you know, I was just like, Ziggler is such a I'm missed s- opportunity because for a while he was so hot. And yeah. everybody, and even now, he's despite doing nothing. Seamus is my guilty pleasure. I think he's good. Oh, he's embraced, looking like an absolute muppet. It's brilliant. Uh, I still think he needs to get rid of the fella stuff, which I don't think oh, he's no, done he in a stopped. couple weeks. Yeah, he doesn't say fella. He, when, when he first came back, he was doing that. and I. No, he says um, he doesn't say fella. And he says, I do not entertain now or something. Which no, is, no, he doesn't. He says, oh, I don't know why. He says Irish. He doesn't say fella. Hang on. He was saying fella. I know, yeah, but he changed it to uh, an Irish phrase, which means get out of my way. Which is a lot better than fella. Yeah, but I can't remember. But when he fir- when he first came back, he was saying "fella." And that if he changed it, great. Yeah. Then my criticism is nothing. But yeah. So I'm still gonna go with Seamus. I don't know. Why not? I'm gonna go Ziggler because no, because I don't know why. I, yeah, I'm I going Ziggler. I I didn't know this match was happening, so. No. That shows you how much I pay attention to that stuff. King Barrett versus Neville. Uh, Why are they fighting? It's a rematch because they wrestled when Daniel Bryan was injured and Neville won. Oh, for the vacant title. They, and no, no, it's actually not. Although that would make perfect sense. It should be for the title. But it, as it of, as of right now, it is not that. So it's King Barrett versus Neville because right now they're one and one. Neville beat. Barrett at Extreme Rules and Barrett beat Neville versus in King of the Ring. So you see, no, I'm completely good. unaware of this that they are one on one. Like that should be yeah. hyped up. This young upstart has already got a victory on no, King well, of the Ring. Yeah, see the thing is though is that they don't actually say that. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I I gave them the feud. This is like so. the weakest build for a card ever. Well, can't all oh, are you excited for Extreme Rules, which is or not Extreme Rules, Elimination Chamber, which is two weeks? Away? Are you excited for that? What? It's gonna be this. Yeah, they're bringing back Extreme Rules exclusively to the WWE Network. It's not on pay per view, and it's two weeks away. 
I'd be fucking livid if I was a wrestler. <laughs> also, May, like April and March and January and February and December and November and all those months, free. Uh, because I'm a loyal subscriber and they want to rape me in the bum. And, oh, you're paying us money every month? Screw you. Yeah. Everyone gets it for free, but you... I, I, that drives me freaking nuts that they keep doing that. Every freaking month is a free month nowadays and it, it's stupid why don't they just say they should just say if you're a new subscriber it's a free you That's, get a free month yeah it just worked. That, that just do that because this is stupid because now you're just smacking all of your subscribers in the face oh well I could have saved f- f- like 20 bucks if not more if I just waited yeah I'd be oh god being a wrestler and uh, oh we're going to bring Elimination Chamber back two weeks after this pay for you I'd be like fuck off Mama, when Punk was talking about, you know, that they all got paid bonuses for pay-per-views, and as there aren't pay-per-views, how does that work? Yeah. Do they get bonuses? I'm pretty they, sure they all should. Getting, they're all not, none of them are getting as bonuses anymore. Oh, they're not getting they bonuses should, like they it's, used to. It's the equivalent. I can it's guarantee. It's just not on pay-per-view anymore. I, I can guarantee you they're not getting a bonus for Elimination Chamber. Yeah, probably not. Well, baby, who knows? They... That's something that they probably would negotiate in a new contract, yeah. right? Maybe would if be, you're in okay. the chamber, they might give you a little... I, I'd imagine that when contracts start expiring oh, yeah. and they're up for negotiation, they'd be like, okay, so that pay-per-view thing that we used to do, we don't do that anymore, and now we only wrestle on the network, but there are special events on the network. How about we do a special event bonus instead of pay-per-view? And if yeah. not, I'm walking. So... Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to say Neville. No, no, no! I have to say King Barrett. Yeah, yeah, Barrett. Although I think this but is a mistake. But he's just been like fucking. He's not a person. Ripped. No, what the like, heck happened? He was wow. Like, he had so much momentum. Why isn't he insulting audiences more often? Well, because he started getting over as a face, and then they decided to get rid of that. Isn't if he can get a great crowd reaction? If he's meant to be a heel, but he's getting a face reaction. Who cares? Keep doing exactly what he's doing. If he happens to get a face reaction, he's at least getting a bigger reaction. Now he's just kind of yeah. lukewarm and not. Many I mean, John care. Cena gets boo has been getting booed for a decade, and they still keep <laughs> let him do the exact same thing. That I don't know why they like. Oh, this guy's getting over, but he's not getting over the, over the way we want. Yeah, and it's like fuck you. Just let him. I don't know. All right, we both we both say Barrett. Someone yeah. should be keeping tabs. If anyone's listening, which history shows that people do. <laughs> yeah. Keep tabs because I don't remember. And if we discuss this again, <laughs> we're gonna be like, "Which one did I pick?" <gasps> All right, uh, John Cena versus Rusev in an I Quit match. So what I envision happening is that Rusev is gonna put him in the submission hold, and John Cena is gonna shout to the heavens, "I quit. I'm a weak person, and I give up forever, and I quit." Mm, yeah, um, that's that's like what everyone expects. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's like a done deal. Yeah, that's obvious. Because John Cena's track record I quit matches is pretty poor. He's a What are in, you doing? In case Why you would they do in, this? In case you didn't know, John Cena's motto is give up. Yep. It is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always, always, or never try. Just always <laughs> give up. Yep. Never, never give up. Never give up giving up. <laughs> no, it's just never, never just give up. Just keep giving up. <laughs> uh, always. Forever and ever. Give up. Yeah, this uh, is so stupid. The guy's slogan is never give up. Like, it's on his feckin' hand towels. Who buys those? There, there, I remember... <laughs> that's a good question. He's just becoming a walking billboard at this point. He's bringing out more and more products. He's gonna walk out with a toy every once in a while and be like, In stores now! And then throw it away and then run to the ring. Also, um, his US Open invitational matches, fantastic idea. Except for something. Except that, for the part where he's John Cena. No, no. Except for the part where he's like, "I'm gonna fight Rusev in three weeks' time at this pay per view." So, who, come on out for a shot at the title. You're obviously winning, you idiot. Well, yeah, but that's the problem is that even John Cena knows it's John Cena. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, like, it's the the open challenge loses all drama because it's the mid card versus John Cena. No, it's not He's just, just going to melt everyone away. There's no drama anywhere. It's no. like, yeah, of course of course freaking John Cena no, is going to win. No, it's not that match. it's not it's just it's not even if that he's John Cena. If it was anybody, if it was 
Booker T came out of retirement and said, I'm going to have a match every single week, defend this title every single week. But in four weeks' time, I'm defending it at the pay-per-view against my actual rival. But in the meantime, all these guys are going to try and take the title from me. They're not taking the title because you're building for this match four weeks from now. I I understand. Go ahead. It's a great idea to have every single week. But if you've already got a feud going with somebody in three weeks' time to the actual pay-per-view, no, you're not losing. It just makes no sense. So the outcome to every match is obviously you don't win. There's no drama. None. Because you know the outcome. I understand your logic. And but the thing is though, I could buy someone let's say let's use your example, Booker T. I could buy someone beating Booker T and then going on to face the guy at the pay per view. I could buy that if it were anyone but John Cena. John Cena's not gonna lose. John Cena can't John Cena's gimmick is that he wins. It's his gimmick. There's so much potential for a certain point and he just like goes on a losing streak. They John, tried. He, they tried it when he lost the Rock at WrestleMania. He, he, lost, he lost to the Rock and then lost two more times, and then well, beat. not even he lost to the Rock at WrestleMania and then beat Brock Lesnar. <laughs> and they're trying to build it up as like some epic. And drama. that was his bad year. <laughs> this is bad. His bad year. year is that he beat Brock Lesnar <laughs> in his first match returning. And then yeah, John Cena, you're having a rough one. Yeah, I just I, there's so much time for some point like Cena just keeps losing. At some point, they oh, just keeps losing. And all these young guys come up and keep beating him. He's like, I can't hang with these guys anymore. And that's like, oh, we like you. Come back. Also, John Cena won Superstar of the Year that year. <laughs> so, so this match with wasn't Rusev that bad is stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. I mean... And I cannot believe it is still going on. This is the going on since gonna... November. Oh, yeah, what the heck? I mean... Just give us stop burying Rusev. Even if Rusev wins, John Cena's not saying I quit. He he lost to WrestleMania, not... which is what everyone watches. Then he lost to Extreme Rules, which has got the leftover crowd. And by payback, nobody cares. So even if he wins, nobody pays attention. You've just killed any idea of building a new star. Let's the only chance I see this match having any interest at all is that it's so yeah. obvious. That John Cena is going to win. That WWE knows it's so obvious that WWE is going or John Cena is going to win, and there's no way they, they got to have something, right? Lana. They can't. They can't. Well, yeah, but what does that mean? Lana turns and helps Cena. Cena's going to win regardless. No. Nope. Rusev puts her in the acolyte or his submission hold. But what does that do? He handcuffs Cena, puts her in a submission hold, and then says, "You have to quit, otherwise I want to strangle her." Okay, that's a good idea. But then there's going to be a video out there of John Cena saying, I quit. And that's the part where I don't see that happening. He quit to save a woman. It doesn't matter. Nah, we never I, give up. I, 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 I would love that. I don't think it's going to happen. I could work. But then, of yeah, course, oh, no, it absolutely if, if, could work. if you do that, there's going to be another two months of Rusev and Cena. Yeah, and also that kind of... <laughs> That kind of just turned. I remember complaining about Rusev was fine, and but then they added the abusive husband character to him, and now that just solidifies that. It's like he would rather put his girlfriend in danger or whatever. They're not boyfriend girlfriend. How yes, creepy is that? No, they're not. What do you mean? They're not an item. In storyline wise, or in real life? In storyline, real life they are. So I no way they were, are they? Yeah. Yes. Oh, f- so that I just that assumed that the <laughs> ugly motherfucker. God, he's such an ugly human being. Are you, are you angry about this, goddess? <sighs> like she would Adam, walk it's in. O- it's okay. She could walk into the entire WWE locker room and just pick a man. I'm like, <laughs> and of all the people lined up, she Dolph went. She went with Rusev. This I don't know who, who would you pick? ball. Seth Rollins probably because just his body just arouses me. I yeah, I just like can't count his abs. I'm like hee hee. Yeah, I'd, I'd play. I'd like poke him, just yeah. rub him with my fingers, and Shit. they'd make like a brrr noise. I don't know. Maybe as I go up and down. I don't know. Maybe just from working together. I don't know, but yeah, in storyline they're not an item. She's just kind of like an advocate or his manager. I was translator initially. Are you sure? I actually, I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm just talking out of my arse. I haven't watched any <laughs> segment he's been in in about six weeks. Yeah, but he also came out on a tank. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't. It's so uh, cool. Yeah, so I like your idea. I wish I thought of it. Oh, it's not my idea. Happens, I saw it so, posted on some oh, did you? websites. Oh, so I won't give you credit then. But either way, that's a good idea. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I don't know. I think something has to happen because, like I said, it's too obvious. They know it's obvious. They're not that stupid. Just be a big old case of Cena wins, lol. I just picture a weird... Remember when Mankind and Rock and Mankind had the pre-recorded I Quit message or whatever that they used? Oh, by the way, I saw a clip of that recently. God, whoever could not tell that that was fake. Yeah, they're idiots. So but, obvious. But, I mean, it was part of the storyline, so it kind of had to be fake. It had but to be obviously re- fake. Regardless, I can't, I can't... I could see a scenario like that, but even then, I don't know. I, It's just too obvious. There's no way... I don't know. I don't know. This is the biggest question mark for me. I, yeah. I still think John Cena... Leaves with the belt, though. All I'm going to do with that match is literally, oh, the match is on. Skip right to the end, see who's actually standing, and go, wow, it's Cena. How would that happen? <laughs> I kind of like the idea of an I Quit match, except that it ruins any character that loses. It No, it doesn't. It depends on how they lose. Unless it's a heel. Um, and then heels I are think cowardly. it was um, Rey Mysterio was an I Quit match with Chavo Guerrero. And Chava had him hanging upside down and was smashing a chair into his knee. Which was the story on was like he come back from an injury and there was right. surgery on his knee and Chava was smashing a chair into it over and over again. And Mysterio was hanging upside down from the Titan Tron. And then Mysterio went, I quit, I quit, I quit. And then Chavo hit him again. And then like wouldn't stop. Like, wow, uh, why didn't I know about that? I usually hate Chavo Guerrero and that sounds cool. Yeah, and that's how you do it. Like, like Mysterio looks like, yeah, of course you'd quit. God, that like you just came back from injury, of course. And then Chavo looks like an absolute. That's the best way of doing it. Make there be a legitimate reason why the guy would say I quit. The worst way of doing it is having Randy Orton destroy John Cena for twenty minutes, and then have John Cena reverse Randy Orton into a Shitty. STF, and then have <laughs> Orton quit in two seconds. It wasn't even it did, it wasn't even painful. While your arm yeah. is wrapped around your head. Barely. Randy Orton took him around the arena, threw him into everything, hit him with everything. He hang he handcuffed him from the 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 turnbuckle, ha- had him hang from the outside and bash his ribs in with a kendo stick over and over, visible bruises all over his body. Still didn't quit. Puts Orton in the STF for two seconds. And he screams, I quit. And that's, and that's supposed to be the Viper. Yeah, I don't understand it sometimes. John Cena wins this match. Yeah. Uh, I'm and then there's the... Okay. And then there's the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Seth Rollins defends his title against Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose in a fatal four-way match. So it's the Shield... In the same yeah. match. Which I Randy think Orton a, does not need to be here. This is a big missed opportunity. Like, when the Shield come back together for a title match, it should have been a huge deal. They're barely even acknowledging the fact that they're the Shield. Yeah. It should be a huge deal. Like, I that, expected... that triple threat match. It should be. That, like, even all those guys being the one match together should be a huge deal. I agree. That should headline SummerSlam or... WrestleMania. It's, it's still May. And not like Randy Orton being in there. Kind of like there was a in the works, but I know why he's there. And it's just like, yeah. I mean, we and got Dean three Ambrose months. being thrown in definitely like made it interesting, but I, I, there's no way he's going to win. No, I don't. Th- I think Rollins has to win. Yeah, Either Rollins yeah. or Orton. Because yeah. I, I don't see. Roman Reigns is still getting pooped on by the crowd, which is unbelievable. Because the the crisis is averted at this point. They just didn't want or, uh, Reigns to beat Lesnar at WrestleMania. That didn't happen, so let's maybe chill. Well, I still don't like Roman Reigns, but oh, we're still so, pooping all over him. I cannot. Next time you're watching Roman Reigns do a promo, um, look at his eyebrows. <laughs> all right. 
as the most unnatural movements. His eyebrows and the way he moves his eyes and the creases on his forehead is the most unnatural way a person talks I've ever seen. He kind of looks like he has to fart half the time. <laughs> Doesn't he? Like he's squinting his eyebrows and he's got the little half smile. Like, like he, he he needs to take lessons from Orton. On how, like, you just like, because Orton does the whole thing, like, I'm a tough guy now that he's a face. And there's a slimmer type of deal. But it's just don't raise your eyebrows in such funny Jaden Smith-like ways all the bloody time. <laughs> it's all the time. It's like that. It's just so strange. They should yeah, tell him I, to just frown. Just frown all the time instead. It's much better. I still think Seth Rollins is the best heel they have. Uh, There's not even a close second. He, I th- His voice is so annoying. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the man. He's like Wario, apparently. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's got to win. Roman Reigns. He's got to win because the match is, you know, Lesnar. When Lesnar decides, eh. I suppose I'll have another match. He'll go against Rollins one. How does Rollins finish people nowadays? He hasn't had a match that he has finished since they took away the curb stomp. Apparently, they haven't taken it away. Um, they just like when he was for special putting it on hold. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, but special occasions. What does that mean? He still has to wrestle. Yeah, they just won't be using it like on Raw. It's going to be like the punt. Yeah, um, but the other but thing that is, rarely happens. There, there came out word that the reason why, like Vince McMahon doesn't like the curb stomp, because when Lesnar was taking it, he thought Lesnar like waiting to take it looked stupid, and so he wanted uh, to do kind of a, a different finisher. Because the guy who was like wait, being set know, up for the getting, curb stomp, he was getting up. Yeah, and I was I like, didn't, I didn't notice it. So, and I was just thinking, well, Cena has been doing his five knuckle shuffle, The Rock takes about three minutes to drop an elbow. <laughs> you know? I was like, what do you mean? They look stupid. But it is the most electrifying move in sports entertainment. I know, but it just kind of seemed very strange to me. I was like, you, that can't be... That was the report that came out that he just thought Lesnar looked stupid while he was taking it. Okay, so don't do it against Lesnar then. And I was thinking, no, he doesn't. I, Lesnar, I Lesnar he sold I it more realistically than anyone. Except RVD. Yeah. Yeah, I think Seth Rollins wins this match, or Randy Orton. Rollins wins, and poor Dean Ambrose takes the pin. I I still think Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose have to have their triple threat, and I think SummerSlam is a good place to do that. I don't know how you carry a storyline up until then. Maybe you put you put Orton, Reigns, and Ambrose in the Elimination Chamber with Rollins, but then who are the other two? That's, that's I don't know. Kane. <laughs> Kane, big show. Yeah. Or J&J s- Security. Mm, yeah. In the Elimination Chamber. So, um, there's word that, like, Lesnar's coming back for SummerSlam. So, okay. I'm pretty sure that might be... Like, what? what's the pay-per-views now? It's the, 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 there's Elimination Chamber as well. So, like... Right. But you can't put... You can't put Lesnar against... The champion because he'll win. Yeah, you can't have Lesnar lose unless. So you're thinking that maybe that Rollins drops the belt and Lesnar just wants his hands on Rollins. That would make more sense, yeah. But I don't know because. Or what if like Lesnar costs put, Rollins the belt? You can't. That that could that could be too. You can't have Lesnar be champion again. That no, came that, and went. You put it. The freaking belt was in hibernation last yeah. year. That it can't happen again. So, Seth Rollins being champion is where it needs to be. Eventually, Reigns or Ambrose could be the guy to carry it. They're not right now. I don't need to see Orton as champion ever again in my life. No, I don't think. No. <laughs> not I, to say that he I have but... no idea what they're going to do. If Rollins wins, then what? Uh, I imagine that he fights one or all of them again. Yeah, it's like he's just they're throwing the, I mean, the kitchen obviously, sink into the fatal four way. The fatal four way is like three months that you could have stretched all those out for. 
I, I definitely think Rollins wins this match because you have to go into the elimin the the champion going into the elimination chamber has to be heel. I don't know yeah. why, but it just it fits that way because then the heel gets to, you know, sit inside the the two ball match and be like, haha, you guys are beating each other up, which makes no sense, but. You guys are beating each other up while I'm watching, and I can just come in at the end all fresh and spry. But then, oh, he might he might lose anyway, and then you know, yeah. that's that adds that drama. And you can't do that if it's a face because he's a fighting champion, and if he's you can't have the face in there from the beginning because then he'll you know it it'll either you can't eliminate him because that ruins the drama, right? So the champion has to be. Either come in last or last the whole time, and you can't have the dude come in first and last the whole time if he's the champion. It just, it's a mess. I think it has to be heel. So Rollins has to win the match. Rollins has to go into elimination chamber two weeks later, <laughs> and he, I don't know who wins that though. I, I, I think Orton's going to end up with the belt at some point. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's strange. It's like Lesnar is that thing of. He's just on another level, and unfortunately, he's not around. He's overpowered. He's god tier. You can't, yeah. you can't beat him. I, I can't realistically accept him losing to anybody, and and that's their fault. They they built him that way. And the thing is, they, well, building him that way is is a is fine, but they've got nobody else who's built like that. Well, that's yeah. There's no other legitimate challenger. I remember when it was like um. When Cena was unstoppable, and then, of course, his counterpart was always Batista. Yeah. When those two eventually came together, it was like, yeah, Batista could definitely beat him. Yeah, yeah Cena wins you, all the time, but yeah, it, Batista could definitely kick his ass. And you had Kurt Angle and Chris Benoit who could just out-wrestle yeah. Brock Lesnar, and the, but they don't have any guys like that anymore. They don't have super athletes like that. But Lesnar's just so like, who, Lesnar's pedigree, like everyone knows he's like an unreal wrestler. Like legitimate unreal wrestler, and yeah. He's like, but oh, so, he's also so was Angle and Benoit champion in a cage, yeah. Like, oh, and he's knocked people out, and like, oh Jesus, and he looks like that. Oh Jesus, who can? Yeah, the... and he's inc- inc- amazingly fast. Yeah. So it just it did. Who they, they had to bring in someone else. If they build Rollins correctly, and say, you know what, Rollins is agile. He's quicker. He can he's smarter. He's smarter, yeah. Just build him like that. And just, you know, this whole, like, you're a big dumb gorilla. And I am a genius. I I, I, was, I made the shield, I broke it up, all this stuff. As they Not build him mention, like an absolute genius and like a master of ring awareness or whatever. It might be possible. If he's not just scraping through pay-per-views every single time. <laughs> Plus, if you, if you split him up with Paul Heyman, who was his brains of the operation... Then even better, you align Paul Heyman with Seth Rollins or something like that. No, I then can't you do got God Lesnar without Heyman is shite. I agree, but I don't know. You got to do something. Yeah, that it would be interesting. He's, he's too perfect. <laughs> the his only weakness is that he can't talk and he's dumb. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Interesting. You take Heyman away from that, then he's got an Achilles heel. And you, and plus it would it'd be the Heyman in Rollins' corner. Heyman knows Lesnar better than everybody, so what he could from the sides yell to Seth Rollins, say like, "Watch out for the suplex," you know. Yeah. And Heyman's really good at that, so that would work. Yeah. What what I'm more interested in is not payback, but the raw after payback. But like, what are you gonna do now? You've kind of thrown everybody in this main event. What happens next? Where? Who's the next set of main eventers? I I, I came real came out of WrestleMania really hopeful, but now I see this heavyweight title match. But that is and that everyone's is their, there. That is, that is, Dean yeah. Ambrose. I don't that, even know how they got him into that match. That is their set of main eventers all there. The three lads from the Shield. Those are your future main eventers. Yeah. And Dean but, Ambrose is barely that. You know, he's... Oh, I think... Is is Bray Wyatt and Ryback on this match? Or mm-hmm. on this card? Yeah, but nobody cares. <laughs> Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt has become so... Oh, God, do I hate him. I skip everything of his now. Everything. 
He's not saying anything. No. The new face of fear, that was your thing against The Undertaker, and guess what? We lost. You lost to The Undertaker, so you're not the new face of fear, are you? Yeah, you're not even I, the old face. And then putting him against Ryback, and you just look at those two guys. And Ryback. What, what type of what match are they going to have? What a joke. All right. Well, Seth Rollins wins the world title match, I think, yeah, regardless. I'd, I'd agree. And with that, is there any word you want to... I'll say Wario. If you... if you Wario. Wah! <laughs> if you listen this far, congratulations. You get nothing. But, well, I guess you get... You amuse me slightly. So... Post in the comments, Wario, and I will see it, and I will get a chuckle out of it, and that will be the end of it. I will tell Adam, too. Yep. Uh, Adam, thank you. Alrighty, been a while. Be a little, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit of a shorter one, because all we did was poop all over it anyway, so. It's only payback. Do the, like, you. the people writing the show, they just, they just kind of go, ah, oh, it's only payback. Payback's payback. also the most generic name yeah. for a pay-per-view ever. So. It, it payback, it might as well call it Revenge. Or I would prefer Revenge. Revenge or... Sure wasn't there? Vengeance was an actual pay-per-view for a while. Yeah, Vengeance was. I think Revenge <laughs> was a... Was Revenge a WCW pay-per-view or was that just the name yeah. of that game? Yeah, yeah I think. Might as well just call it Wrestling. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Second throw away pay per view. Yeah, uh, I'm sure the writers right. are just like, ah, who cares? Nobody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's watching it. Well, that's true. Did you see that the Montreal Raw had a, their lowest rating of the year or whatever? Yeah. Well, that's because every week, for like a month, every yeah, episode is getting worse that. and worse and worse. And then finally, have a good one. Put like. Well, you've been shite for a month. Yeah, so. I, I didn't watch because ninety nine percent of the time it's horrible. I'm not going to wait for the one percent to show up and yeah. All right, thank you for joining thank me you. in this conversation. And yes, yes, we will yes. be back. We'll maybe for elimination chamber. So in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh. goodbye. <laughs>